guys. Uh, they epitomize everything we talk about what the Memphis Grizzlies are. I mean, they compete, they defend it. Uh, early, you know, you could tell they were trying to find a little bit of a rhythm on both ends of the floor, offensively and defensively. But I like the fact that with, with, with effort and energy is how they found their way to get the rhythm. And that kind of overwhelmed Oklahoma City, I think, right in that second quarter when we started to get things together. That same, kind of seemed to sum up Jordan Adams. Came out a little slow, but then he heated up real quick. He got yeah, comfortable I, quick. He's a guy that just seems like once he gets a gauge of how the, the pace of the game is playing, he, he then finds that slot and he, he rides it all the way out. I'm so proud of the way he did defensively, too. I mean, he's, those are Jeremy Lamb and Roberson are guys who have had tested minutes in the playoffs, long minutes during the season. So the, how he competed against them, I was so proud of him. Jarnell, physical. You could tell I mean, he's still going to learn our offense and some things are going quickly. But when in doubt with a body like he has, punch in that paint and get a catch. He does all the same things that Zach does for us. When late in the clock and the, and the offense isn't you know, doing what you want to do, you get in the paint to him, he knows what to do with it. A big first test for Jarnell with uh, Adams, Stephen Adams. Absolutely. And you yeah. can tell Stephen Adams, uh, the way that he plays, you know, he's usually – the aggressor. And I think it was with Jack Cooley and Famous and, you know, Jarnell Stokes, all three of those guys hit him. It almost looked like a reversal of what they did to us in the playoffs.